podcast uh, uh, I've kind of dabbled in uh, you know looking into maybe making a podcast with Mike and Vito uh, I think they might be pretty good maybe we'll get Elias I don't know um, <clears throat> we don't have a, a name for it yet I was thinking of like oh fuck you I don't know I don't, I don't know I haven't, I haven't really thought of much I was thinking of like feats of strength podcast but then it's like make a lot of sense because like, it's not like we're doing feats of strength. It's not like we're the strongest guys in the world, you know. Hito's the strongest out of all of us, definitely. You know? um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, if you're watching this, I guess maybe we're going to play this before any of the podcasts go up on iTunes or YouTube or SoundCloud, however we're going to do it. Um, <clears throat> or, yeah, you're either watching this before the podcast or you're watching this because, oops, because there hasn't been a podcast in a really long time, which I hope that doesn't happen. I'm, I'm hoping that we can get together every week. I would assume we would. I mean, we're not all that busy. Guido's probably the busiest with like working at Shogun and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it should be all right. At least me and Mike will be able to get together once a week, and maybe Elias too. I don't know. He's a he's a big shot. You know, he's a uh, you know he's you know he's the Esco. But. We'll see a lot of a lot of this will be you know looking back you know a year from now thinking man you know remember when you recorded that pre-podcast and it worked really well while you were driving yeah that was a good one but you know we'll, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to look into that um yeah in the case that there hasn't been a podcast in a long time uh i guess i should just uh, talk about some current events uh i'm not gonna talk about soccer because you know Maybe no one that watches this podcast likes soccer. I don't think anyone does. He don't like soccer just out of being <clears throat> from Argentina, but he doesn't really he doesn't really know the you know doesn't know the language of the game. So you know, no offense to him. Um, uh, what we can turn like news about me? Uh, I think this is like my last year of school. Um, what else? What else? Uh, gonna take some uh, some interesting classes. I got the. Uh, I got the, uh, what is it? I got the, the tests for the class I'm gonna take. I suppose the teachers didn't change them, so looking forward to getting an A. Maybe a B, you know, B, whatever. A, that'd be nice. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, Katie's gonna work at a, at a science camp, so that's crazy, you know, we'll see what's up with that. You know, crack some kids' skulls in, you know, shit like that. Uh, what else? Mike, Mike's doing his things, slinging the chickens, keeping them raw, keeping them fresh. You, know, you don't want something that's overcooked, but then again, at the same time, you don't want something slimy. You know, you know, slinging the bevs, you know, slinging the ladies with the bevs, you know. I mean, he's only got one lady, you know, but, you know. Girls love him. Girls love him, women hate him, because he steals, he steals, he steals them from their man. I don't, know. I don't know what's been going on with the news. Uh, we have a black president, uh, Barack Obama. People don't think he's from the U.S. Uh, some people think he is. Some people think he's Muslim, which he is. So, you know, big, uh, big ups on that. You know, welcome to Arabia into the U.S. You know, uh, Zach, uh, you know, doing his thing, uh, hanging out with Brittany, you know, making some tracks. Getting a lot of buzz on the new Java subreddit. I don't know if he knows. I mean, maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. I'll let him find out. So, you know, a little, a little like uh, a kiss from above. You know, as if I'm his creator. You know. I mean, hey, he. One time he asked me for advice on a song. I had no idea what I was talking about, but I said that maybe the hi hats are a little loud. But you know, I don't know anything. But that was nice. So you know, Zach. 
You know, I like to be in the credits of your future album. If I'm not, well, you know, <laughs> I think you know where I stand on that, you know? Hey, thanks a lot, scumbag. But if I am, hey, you know, that's, that's good too. That's good too. <clears throat> uh, enough about Zach Tree. Hanging out with us, being a good old pal. Uh, actually, I haven't seen Tree in a little while. But hey, good old guy. He's got a lot of white hairs. You know why? Because he stresses for you. He's like, kind of like, uh, he's kind of like the Jesus of our group. You know, Jesus died for your sins. Tree stresses for your life. You know, he, he's really worried. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, his mom cuts his hair. I know that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, Mike with the chickens. Zach with the music. Keto with the. You, all right, how about this? Okay, so Guido sits on the floor when he plays video games. All right, so we're, we're already in August 2014. Okay, so Guido, within a year from now, I hope that you have bought a chair, perhaps maybe even bought a desk, maybe even one of those standing desks, but maybe even not a standing desk because you, you, uh, you hunch a lot. So I want you to get a desk, okay? Just even just the shittiest desk we could find. I'll, I'll help you make a desk. The only thing though is that I'm worried that we're gonna go look at desks or we're gonna go look at wood because you like measured your, you know, someone's desk and you're like, oh, I'll make this even though it's already been prefabricated and they don't make wood that way. So just just a word of warning, Guido, don't measure a desk that is, you know, pre-assembled or comes in a box because they don't make lumber in those weird sizes. So let's not do that. I'll try to steer you away if you come up with that. But I, you know, I hope you build something on your own. Yeah, that, that would be good. Uh, but yeah, I hope you do that so you don't mess up your back and uh, you know get a get a crazy hunch. Don't buy none of those like Amazon trickster back braces from China or anything like that because you're just gonna. You, I mean, I, I fear that you just might not ever use it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, if you've noticed, there's a lot of uh, there was some rain. We got a, a couple of days of rain. This is day number two of rain. It's been really fucking humid. I had to turn off the air conditioner and I'm like, I'm dying. I'm dying. It's really, really, like my, 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 my shirt is like stuck to me. I had to wear the flannel just to, you know, keep the look up, but, you know, hey, you gotta do what, what things you gotta do for fashion. All right, Zach? You know, all right, all right. Um, mm, what else? Uh, anything cool in the news? Nothing. Guys, uh, I don't know. It, it'll be cool to look back on this video and think, dude, that Aaron guy, man, he's our leader. You know, he's really pushing the podcast forward. Good guy, good guy. But you know, enough about me. You know, I don't want to have too big of a head. I already got a pretty sizable head, huge brain. Um, what else? Oh, uh, Abe and Zara. Uh, Abe's talking about maybe moving. They might go to another state to do school. You know, we'll see what's up with that. Hey. If that happens, that's cool. If it doesn't, you know, that's fine. Um, Abe, I know you're interested in organics. Uh, you know, the sticky green. Uh, you know, uh, may, might I even say the purple king? You know, if you want to get in on that, uh, I can give you, I have like $100 to spare if you want to, you know, uh, get a startup growth going. Uh, Zara, <coughs> um, I don't know. You, you do payroll for stuff. Maybe you can uh, skim a little off the top. Garden of the Organics, you know, we'll get some stuff going. But, you know, we'll talk more about that later. We don't want to put too much incriminating evidence on the World Wide Web. Uh, um, uh, in, uh, in anticipation of perhaps maybe a million viewers that we have or something, maybe we have millions of viewers, maybe we have tens of thousands of viewers. Probably not hundreds. We'll probably grow pretty quick. We're funny guys. Uh, Thank you for all your views. Thank you for your comments and your likes. Uh, your likes don't do anything, really. If you like our videos on, on YouTube, it really doesn't do anything. If we can have like a crazy ratio. It really doesn't matter. Um, oh, I would like to propose maybe some uh, some future insights, some kind of some Nostradamus shit, if you will. And pardon, pardon my use of the word shit uh, for our, our young viewers out there. Let's see, I would like to... I would like to predict mm, no sports stuff because you know sports is sports. They already did that in uh, Back to the Future. I would like to predict a Deadpool movie. That would be cool. I think uh, it's kind of confirmed, but I would like to predict that. I would also like to. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to the post office drop off box. Yeah. Um, 
I would like to predict a a a Superman versus movie. Superman versus the Justice League, but then they have the Jake Justice League movie, so Superman versus that, uh, or Superman versus uh, Batman, or Superman versus like Batman and the Flash, but the Flash is kind of wimpy, he's on Channel 5. Um, so yeah, that'd be cool, you know, maybe just a one-off kind of thing, and then, you know, Superman comes, maybe he kills Batman, maybe he fights him, and he goes off to another world, and you know, we got Superman 4 or 5. Uh, I would also like to, um, uh, what is it? Uh, I would like to predict that Star Wars um, makes a lot of money from the movie. Uh, that they don't go with a guy this time. They go maybe with the girl front runner. You know, gender equality and all that jazz. Um, <clears throat> and that the, uh, the 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 leaked footage of a black guy being in the movie that might be a star. I want to say that's real. You know, because race equality. We have a black president, we have a black hair person in Star Wars. That's not, you know, a scoundrel and a, and a smuggler like Lando Calrissian was. You know, we want to move past the assumption that black people are scoundrels and smugglers and show that they're good people that can have a change of heart and that can be a force of positivity and creation in the world. Not just for hip hop and not just for Wu Tang and uh, Ghostface Killer, but, you know, uh, for, for the arts and for movies and media and, and fashion, you know, exactly. Um, uh, other predictions aside from movies, I would like to predict that uh, something crazy happens in, in China, not India. It's India is kind of you know what's India doing? Uh, but like in China, maybe some crazy like explosions, some crazy like you know like oh, oh a nuclear warhead went off in a facility because they have no world regulations or. Or, you know, China blows up half of the population with, like, a crazy cancer bomb or something like that. You know, I'd like to predict that. I mean, it'd be sad if that happened, but it would, you know, get the, get the, you know, get the YouTube views. Um, what else? What else? Something, you know, something a little more obvious. It's a little easier. Um... Um, we're almost to our destination. Just dropping off a little mail. Again, this is August 2014. Uh, this is the pre-podcast for the the the, the 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 podcast of the guys. Or, you know, to be to be announced. I'm sure it'll be a cool thing. Uh, also, I'd like to just put into place maybe some uh, some rules for the podcast just ahead of time. Uh, We'll have a new logo every like four or five months. Guido, you're the artistic one of the group. You know, you're also the strongest one. Um, you know, I'd like to see you maybe working on that. You know, having a good time on it. Uh, and uh, and yeah, maybe maybe we'll just do some audio first, and then we'll jump into video later on. So maybe maybe this maybe I won't show this because if we're just doing straight audio, I don't want to like see, have people go, oh, cool audio. And every video, and then oh, just audio. But maybe you know, do a little tickle, tickle the nuts, you know, a little tickle your pickle, if you will. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're almost here. We're gonna be here. So uh, thank you for your views. Thank you for your money. Maybe we'll start a Indiegogo Patreon or something like that. Uh, but yeah, let me. All right. <clears throat> Welcome to Feet's Yogurt Hour. <clears throat> We've got Oh My Yog. Organic triple layer yogurt. Uh, it's got the you know traditional cream top whole wheat whole milk yogurt uh, from a cow with maple on the bottom. So the crazy thing about this one is limited batch. They don't make very many. This was the last one. All right. Then we got the you know good old brown cow. You know nothing crazy, nothing wild, just delicious. Coffee flavor though, and with the freaking cream top. All right. Then we got the dreaming cow. Dreaming cow I never had before. Uh, maybe it'll give me some runs. Maybe it won't. Vanilla agave. Vanilla sounds good. Agave sounds really nasty, but I mean, hey, what are you gonna do? But grass-fed, and of course the cream top to top it off. But let's go with the Oh My Yog. Get some uh, flavor impressions of this one. It's got the maple on the bottom. I'm gonna try the vanilla on the top first. We'll, we'll judge the cream top. Oh, wow, it smells like a uh, waffle crisp. Dang, that's super creamy. Wow. Dude, this is the best yogurt I've ever had. I'll, I'll, I'll spread it so you guys can kind of see. 
Mm, mm. I can't even hold it on my lips. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna finish it. Mm, mm. We're getting to the bottom. Uh, the maple on the bottom, I thought was gonna be more of like a syrup. It's a little loud. It's fine. Um, it's like a real thin jelly, almost watery, but it's not like disgusting, like Vietnamese nasty food watery. My tree. Um, it's pretty good. I saw right now, it says tear here to discover some crazy good mixins. And I was reading them from the inside. It says like you can add nuts. That's gross. Um, so, you know, definitely not going to do that. Uh, Weekend Warriors of the Maple Forest. The maple syrup comes from bankers, truckers, hipsters. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, whatever. And go bananas. That's gross too. I wouldn't want bananas in my... It's bad enough when I would eat uh, Honey Nut Cheerios with you with bananas and then it would have like the banana stuff at the bottom. Kind of gross, but whatever. All right, now we're gonna go on to the brown cow. I wish I had like a cooler so I could keep this all cold, but this is still pretty cold. I don't want to warm it up though. So it's coffee, so we'll see. Uh, remember, uh, cream top, smooth and creamy. They had other flavors with like vegetable or yeah, might as well be vegetable, like fruits. I'm not a big fan of the fruits, you know? Strawberries as far as I'll go. I like chocolate or well, yogurt. All right, so we got some, I don't know, it's a little darker. Go for the cream top. Oh, look at that cream top. You can see it just sliding off. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. It's uh, like a little waterier, a little more watery. The cream top's really thick. Um, it separates from the bottom of the yogurt. This is definitely the second best yogurt I've ever had. So maybe the next one is going to be really nasty. But uh, let's see. We'll go all the way down. Uh, oh, spread. Hmm. Can't keep it on the lips too long. It's too delicious. Ooh. Oh, spilled some. The cream just kind of comes off right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good, 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 good. All right. <laughs> yeah, um, I am pretty full. Um, the consistency of the other one was a little better. This one is, you can see, it's kind of like a, like a, like a snotty. Um, but it's alright. Oh, they left the window open. Oh, well. Um, but it's pretty good. I don't, the coffee flavor is really light. And um, I guess it's more of like a classic yogurt consistency. Now this is nothing like yo plate or anything like that. That stuff's garbage. Or yo yo crunch. Sorry, Zach. Yeah, but it leaves my lips a little greasy. Stir, skim, or dig. I'll go with the dig. I don't, I don't like stirring stuff up because then it's like I want to taste different ones. You know, I want options. All right, so that's brown cow. My stomach's pretty full. This is dreaming cow. Grass fed. The other ones didn't say grass fed cow yogurt. This still has a, uh, a cream top. Oof. I feel like it's filling my sinuses. Ooh, the color looks bad. It's very watery. Hmm. I don't know. Let me try some light here. Yeah, very watery. Doesn't look that appealing. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's smooth. Mm. Uh, it's definitely very sour, creamy. Not as much as like go uh, yeah, gogurt and uh, Greek yogurt. Ooh, it smells like a dog. Oh, it smells like a dog. That's gross. This is the worst one. This is one of the worst yogurts I've ever had. God damn. I kind of don't even want to finish it. I, maybe that's part of it is because I'm full. I'm a very full. Like, I don't want any more of this. I'll probably turn off the lights. You don't want people getting some sneak action on the videos to come. Oh, man. It smells like freaking dog. Oh, my breath smells like dog. Oh, it's disgusting. Well, 
These were all 99 cents at Sprouts, you know, the rich man's uh, Albertsons. Oh. oh, dude, how disgusting. Peel for the grass fed story. We feed our cows grass, dog grass. It doesn't even peel off, <gasps> off nice. <sighs> Ugh. Even. It's garbage. I mean, it, it's a nice cup, but it's not as nice as, like, say, like, the uh, the Oh My Yoga. The Oh My Yoga is the top dog. Definitely the best. The maple flavor was good. I can't imagine, like, strawberry or anything else tasting good. I'm, I'm burning out a strawberry forever for, for yogurt. Brown cow is all right. I don't even want to finish this. I, I've got, say, like, I've gotten, I've finished about a third of what it was full. I mean, they don't fill yogurt to the top because then it hits the top too much. I think maybe someone shook this one up and they ruined it. But Or maybe just agave is disgusting. I never really had agave anything. God, dude, what a fucking disappointment. I, I, I should have just ate them backwards. Have the worst one first and then get... Now I have a dog. I have breath smells like dog. Like the smell of a wet dog. Ugh. And the planters, those are planters. Those aren't even trash cans. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, Feeds Podcast. Uh, what was it called? Yo. Yogurt Review. I don't know. Maybe you can, you can, you can, you can go back to the beginning and see what I called it. Yogurt Review. And it wasn't a yog cast because this isn't a whole podcast. Oh, I'm just talking. This is terrible. Okay. Well, uh, maybe next time it'll be yogurt. Maybe next time it won't. It's a lot of yogurt. It's a lot of dairy. Uh, it's a lot of calories. Uh, not really. Actually, you know what? <clears throat> oh, I can't even... Oh, let's see. Well, how many calories does this have? 160. 160. 122. Of course, the shittiest one has least my calories. Ugh, gross. It's all nasty. All right. Disappointment.